Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and this is my discussion video on a new Valmonica archetype. So you don't know, Valmonica is the final archetype revealed for Valiant Smashers. Uh, there's Memento, there's the second archetype whose name I'm actually kind of forgetting, and then there's Valmonica. Uh, we don't know much about any of the archetypes, they kind of just gave us the artwork for one of their monsters and a small description. And uh, for this one, we have no exception. This one's probably the hardest to pin down, honestly. Just for the simple fact that it says, uh, basically, the uh, angels and demons in the battle phase. Or the, uh, they, how they affect the battle. So, that has a lot of implications there. For one, the battle phase affects uh, special summon, uh, monsters usually suck. Let's be real here. When was the last time we had a good battle phase archetype? I mean, the last few that have been printed are Dino Wrestle and War Rock. Those archetypes are on the bottom and bottom of casual. Now, don't get me wrong, they're still cool archetypes, but if Konami wants to make a battle phase archetype actually good, it's going to be have to be like Gladiator Beast 2.0. Now, there's not saying it's the archetypes based on the battle phase, but when you're saying angels and demons that affect the battle, um, yeah, that, that sounds like a battle phase archetype. Now, they could be not. It's definitely a fairy fiend archetype, so there's a lot of support there. But when it comes to, like, actually pinpointing what this deck does, it's really hard to say. It'd be really cool if the archetype's like a Dream Mirror kind of situation, slash Gladiator Beast deck, where maybe there's angels and demons in the archetype, or, like, fiends. And their whole gimmick is that when they attack, they tag themselves out into, like, the retrospective, so like the angels tag out to the demons, and the demons tag out to the angels, and I get some like beneficial effects off that. Maybe like Vanquish Souls, where they like add cards or they like plus themselves. I'm not really sure. Or maybe they did tag out like angels and demons for the extra deck. Like, oh, here's my powerful boss monster that I just summoned from the extra deck because my angel monster attack. I'm not really sure how this archetype will go, but. I don't know, it has some huge potential. Konami can make some really, really cool ideas. And especially with this artwork. So if you don't know, usually it's like one art shows two like shows one monster. This is the only like this card's gonna have two artworks on it. It's gonna have two different monsters on them. So it's kinda like a yin yang situation where you have the angel and we have the demon. So it's possible that maybe like based on like which of I don't know it's like it's really strange it has both the angel and the demon on the same artwork and it's gonna be a monster because right? they, they showed three monsters for each of the archetypes I'm assuming this might be a link it could be a fusion possibly but I'm not exactly sure there's so many ways this archetype would go it's so weird when Konami puts the battle phase it's a very worrying sign because like I said archetypes that revolve around battle phases aren't usually good. Like, Karibos are all around the battle phase. Amazons, I believe, had to do with battle phases. I think they're just a fusion archetype, but I could be mistaken. It's just decks that revolve around, oh, if I get to the battle phase, you're screwed. It's just not, it's just not good. It's just not good. Like, Gladiator Beast in its heyday was good, but even with, like, modern day, like, the best that deck can do is, like, Tri-Brigade combo. So, Konami's really going to have to step it up if he wants this archetype to be great. We'll just have to see. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't do anything stupid. And I'll see you all next one. Which Valiant Smashers archetype are you most excited for? I'll see you all next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>